We are discussing the coral honeysuckle plant that is popular throughout the state of Louisiana. And more to share more details on this is Dr. Joe Willis with uh, LSU's Ag Center. We'll go straight over him uh, now. Dr. Joe, good morning. Good morning, John. So let's talk about the coral honeysuckle. Listen, I know it's probably a little damp out there right now. We had bad weather Thursday into Friday. My wife had to bring all her plants in. I know a lot of people had to do the same. It's uh, it's not looking too bad. It doesn't look like it's raining out there on you. Uh, and as far as the coral honeysuckle goes, which we're going to talk about, how does that plant uh, kind of play in when we start seeing weather like this? Well, coral honeysuckle, it's a native to Louisiana, and it's actually native all the way from Connecticut down to Florida and and all the way over to Texas and Oklahoma. So it loves this kind of a climate, this kind of weather. It's been growing that way for years and it's beautiful. As you can see here, it makes a nice, beautiful plant. Uh, got some beautiful flowers that it makes. This is uh, uh, okay. one of the selections, uh, Wheeler, General Wheeler variety. And after the flowers, you get this beautiful, colorful fruit. Oh, well, listen, I know that, I mean, honeysuckle is something I remember as a kid, Dr. Wilson. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming, I've never heard specifically of the coral honeysuckle. Is there any difference between that and your standard honeysuckle? And are they easy to grow, easy to maintain? Um, what, what tips can you share about if you want to have them in your yard? Well, because the coral honeysuckle is a native, it grows much better sometimes than the uh, imported ones. And... You can't beat the beauty, this, you know, green foliage. Uh, there's some varieties with a blue-green type foliage and the flowers that it makes. They even have varieties that have yellow flowers and the fruit. See, the nice thing about it is the hummingbirds love coming through Louisiana every year and they love the coral honeysuckle. It starts flowering early in the year, so there's food for the hummingbirds as they come in. And then when the fruit come on, that's something we shouldn't eat. But birds love it. It's edible. They can uh, so get a lot of energy from the fruits that the honeysuckle makes. And all it needs is a really sunny location and pretty good drainage. But being in Louisiana, it can take flooding for a day or two. So it can survive that even though it doesn't prefer it. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it that sounds like the plants of Louisiana that are native to Louisiana. They know how to take, they can take a beating and keep on going. And so I, I think, yeah, honeysuckles, like you said, a really beautiful plant. You showed them up close there. And, and if you're somebody who, you know, you love hummingbirds, you want to attract, you know, things like a butterfly or a hummingbird spe specifically, you want to see those flying around your yard. Uh, this is the right plant for you to kind of attract other, you know, beautiful parts of nature. Yeah, and, and butterflies love it too. It, they got the long tongue so they can get down into the, the nice tubular shaped flower and, and get the uh, nectar out. So it's a great plant for pollinators. And mm. um, one thing that you want to do provide for it though is support. Uh, it likes something to grow up. Now you don't have to spend a lot of time tying it up. Um, once it gets started climbing, it loves to climb and it can cover a, a fence or a trellis and make a really nice showpiece in your landscape. Gotcha. Well, Dr. Joe Wills, we always appreciate you coming on and giving us all these tips. Learn a lot all the time every time you come on here. I uh, love learning about uh, plants, especially Louisiana native plants. So the coral honeysuckle, uh, great, uh, grateful tips there from you. We appreciate you coming on as always. Thanks a lot, Josh. Stay dry. All right, you too.